<laughs> wow. I'm lame. I'm nut up or shut up. Wow, I am the lamest person ever for saying that. Ow. Okay, we're not good. No! I want this one to be my left hand. I want this one to be my right hand. Jesus. Okay. I think we're actually okay now. happened wanderers what a waste documents documents these things just keep coming In the ward, right? Well, this isn't the right. Yeah. Jesus Christ.
Don't you have anything better to do than annoy me with your face? Last smells something rotten. Sorry, damn. Apparently, I did not wash up. Cause she smells something rotten. You gonna go? Is that person? That was a person. I mean, technically all zombies were people. I suggest you get lost. I'm sorry, right? Right? Hey, asshole! Move it! Don't- Facing, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, sorry. Jesus. This thing needs calibrating, damn. Okay, 
we should be good. Shit. Okay. 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 Wait. If I have time, I can go find that safe. Don't hang around too long.
see you. Time to leave. Everyone's close. Okay, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's start off with a bang. I did lose my shotgun. Nice. in the man's eye when you hear the word. 
I would wager that most of you visualize the dead that now walk among us. Those vacant eyes, clouded over. Those devouring mouths, always slack. And the smell, yeah, that probably comes to mind too. Rot. Some of you may conjure up a beast of the field, a bull or a swine, wishing their finest cuts were upon your plate. Fewer still might consider the beast of the wild, a black bear wading across a stream, a nasty swamp gator more than a century old, drifting through the bow, searching, hungry for a critter with warm blood to sink our teeth into. The nature of the beast is not what I am asking you to contemplate. What I encourage you to mull over for the moment is what beasts all have in common. Big, small, fearsome or timid, the common thread between them all is the limit of their thoughts. Think about that. A beast is limited in thought. A beast has a one-track mind. A beast thinks only about its own survival. It doesn't care about anything else. So allow me to pose a question. Are we simply beasts? Are we so beaten down, so base, that the only pursuit we can conceive is survival? Are we no longer capable of dreaming? Of creation? Have we so completely blinded ourselves to the great achievements of our glorious past that we are willing to let it all disintegrate into dust because we are afraid to die? The way I see it, the answer to every oh, shit. single one of these questions should be a resounding no. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm into this.
all patrols. Return to the tower after 1800 herds stir through the narrow. Reserve assault prep begins ASAP. Three to ten days. Hope for ten. We need fucking time. Reserve strike immediate when Loke is known. Any day, it seems. During prep, patrol sweeps reduced to only once per day and only through the southern bump and northwest corridor. Reserve assault troops will move through there. With reserve secured and tick infected removed, should have all routes clear in three weeks. Back to business. Re-tick infected. Let's still develop it. Currently at 50, we'll be higher. Round up raid for immediate exile. Anyone protest, they take the walk. No time for bullshit. Tired of feeding JB's army with dissidents. Elimination, the better option. Georgia. Afraid to ignite our passions, even in the midst of the nightmare. No. It is precisely then, when the nightmare's claws are digging into the thin flesh of our fading hope, that we must defy the nightmare I'm good. and live. Truly I just got the live. messages. And make no mistake, oh, mere survival is not living. Scrounging for crumbs like a timid field mouse, begging some simpleton who bumbled her way into the role of heartless dictator for guidance? <laughs> Not me. I choose to embrace everything that makes me human. I choose to carve my own way through this new world. I am not a lowly animal. This guy kind of sounds like Forrest Gump. Humor me for a moment while I recount an old bio legend. Many of you listening will no doubt recall the campfire tale of Charlie Boy, who met his end at the hand.
Yeah. What is it? Something's really been bugging me. I'm wondering if you could dig up some answers. I'm game. What do you need dug up? I need some information on what happened to the people who were in the reserve with me. The other members of my squad. When the water pressure was getting too much for the bunker to handle, sections of it started to lock down. We analyzed the systems and we were able to pinpoint the issue. They went off to fix it and left me behind in the reserve. But then the whole place locked down, trapping me inside. I tried to reach him by radio, but I, I got no response. I need to know what happened to them after they left. Why do you need to know? Honestly, what happened to my friend Kenneth is what concerns me the most. We were close. The other three, we didn't part on the best terms. We didn't see eye to eye. Tell me about the other three squad mates. What was the problem? To be blunt, they were fucking assholes. Foster, Jess, and Trent, just horrible people, capable of horrible things. What did they do that was so horrible? They made a fucked up decision, okay? Kenneth and I were not cool with it, but they did it anyway. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not in the mood to get into it. Past is the fucking past. If you wander over to Rampart High, maybe you can dig something up. The gym is probably the best place to start. There was a disaster relief camp there that they were gonna search. Find out if Kenneth made it. That's all I'm asking. Maybe it'll help me sleep better. Maybe not. I'll keep my ears peeled for what we need in the meantime. Intel you've been gathering for me has been enlightening to say the least. Georgia is planning on a mass exile in the very near future. Many lives are going to be at risk. I have a few things to discuss with you. I know we were going to try to avoid the face-to-face, -face, but the plan I'm formulating warrants it. I'd appreciate your ear. Meet me in the same spot as the first time, churchyard. Thanks for all you're doing. May.
Hey, Torst. I'll get right to the point. After looking over the intel you brought me, seems like Georgia is planning to toss out a large number of people real soon. A lot of lives are gonna be in jeopardy. Good news is we have some hope. The map you scored shows a safe way out of Nola. Just need to buy some time and some space to organize exiles on a large scale. Get them ready to move. I think the reserve is gonna provide the opening I need. Georgia and the tower are so obsessed with it, I don't think they'll be concerned with what I'm doing for a short while. And with the Reclaim salivating over it too, once the reserve is unlocked and revealed to the world, courtesy of you, there's gonna be a bloodbath. You can count on that. And that's when I make my move. Window won't be open long though. It'll be tight, but I gotta take the chance. I don't know, May. Sounds risky. Trying to get that many people out at once without Georgia noticing. You've seen the posters everywhere. She's trying to turn the whole city against you. Maybe you should get out with Ombra while you have the chance. You can't be serious. After all the work my daughter and I have put in to make this dream a reality, you think I should turn my back on the people I've been working so hard to help? No. I'm all in, tourist. I appreciate your concern, but we are going to uphold our promise to these people. Do or die, I will leave the key to the reserve in the drop spot for you. Lantern will be on when it's there. When the shit goes down for the reserve, if you're thinking it's all too much and you want out, come find us. The Exodus could use someone with your particular set of talents. My hope is you won't be a fool, but my mind suspects you'll be too hooked on that damn reserve pipe dream just like everybody else. All I can do is wish you good luck and good judgment, tourist. Take care of yourself. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay.
my face. It's hot. Shit. Locked. Of course it is. Our enemies are weak. They lack conviction, lack purpose. They spread nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swine. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Because we are guided by principle. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for nothing. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stand, Georgia. Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through, and the building was secure, our numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave, 
and beautiful souls lost. But their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home, our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Every day more and more survivors found their way to our gates. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow, and we grew quickly. In those early days, we were unified, and as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But as the population grew, dissent found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? Did we crumble? Did we change our course? No. We persevered, as we have from the beginning. We knew that our future remained bright if we stayed committed to what brought us to our tower in the first place. So let us not allow all the noise to knock us back down to the ground from the heights we have already achieved. Let us continue to climb together. We must cut loose those who burden us with their petty squabbles, their poisonous minds, and their freeloading ways. Trust me, Mama, when I say we are back.
see another human being again. You're not looking so good. What happened to you? Ceiling collapsed on me. Was scavenging. Happened fast. Been stuck here a while. At first, thought I might survive, but I'm not gonna make it. Know that now. Who are you? People call me the tourist. So let's go with that. The tourist. Huh. My name is Kenneth. In case you give a shit. I'm in agony here. It feels like my insides are getting eaten by a billion bugs. Was wondering if you could do me two favors. Sure, I'll listen. First favor is the simple one. When our chat is through. Kill me. The second one is to relay a message. If the little bastard is still alive, National Guardsman, like me, named uh, Casey, my squad mate left him behind in uh, the bunker. Can you maybe get him on a radio? Frequency 61, say? Waterfall. Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive, in the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt, it's not his. Tell him to let it all go. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Okay? You need to write it down or something? I'll remember everything, don't worry. But, I'm curious. What happened at the bunker? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed... dozens... of innocent people. Civilians trying to... to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I don't know why. It didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked, we mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. That fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired... He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. 
He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen. My brain is... It's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm seeing shit. I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. I've heard enough, Kenneth. I'll tell Casey we spoke.
shit. my ammo at. Shit. I lost it. We're good. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> I'm not going in that school. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? All your squad mates are dead. Kenneth killed them. Holy shit. How do you know? I stumbled onto Kenneth. He told me what he did and why he did it. Kenneth is alive? Where is he? Can I talk to him? 
No, he's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it from his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so we can move on, yeah? I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it, but it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie, and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she, was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me like... He expected me to have his back, but I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds, a hat, a cross. Man, sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle. Even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. A cross? Like, in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. It's fucking strange, tourist. I see it. Real close up. Everything around it is hazy. Bullets chewing it up. Splintering the wood. It's from my church back home. The one my mom used to drag me to. You know, but... That makes no sense. Well, it's just my mind fucking with me. Guilt digging in deep, I guess. Fearing judgment. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and Goal. <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking... Was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You'll never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, Tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. Listen to me, Casey. Carefully. What happened outside the bunker, it's not your fault. That is clear to me. It was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to you. Enough already. I get it. 
Other stuff on your mind. Listen to me, Casey. Yeah, I know. You're right, Tourist. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. Gonna take a lot of fucking work. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Check in the morning. Mm. Casey, good news. May said she would give me the key we need. Good news? Help, tourist. I would classify that as fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh... You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... 
the part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I, I, I don't have much to go on. It's weird. There's been really faint chatter about it on a few channels. that have been nothing but static for months. Uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion, set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. The reclaimed currently control it. Now, the place has been a hotbed of conflict between Tower and Reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is, so be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck, and hey, keep your head on a swivel. Benches, food, explosives. Alright, all good. Shit.
you made it. I didn't doubt that you would, of course, but my patience was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Let's start with a formal introduction. You are the tourist, and I am Jean-Baptiste. JB for short. There now, we can proceed to matters of more... You made it. I didn't. Sounds fair. Terrific. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to connect with the city's most illustrious survivor and have a chat about the reserve. So I made it a priority to acquire one through various means I will not divulge. And now here you are. It is my hope when I am through, you will see the reserve for what it is. Nothing more than a crutch holding back the people of this fine city from regaining themselves. You've piqued my interest. Go on. I am a firm believer in the greatness of humankind. Our ingenuity, our art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it exceed our wildest dreams, the bounty will only prolong our addiction to survivalism as the only path in life. It will stifle our creativity. It will eventually lead to our withering doom. Now, this is the proposal that I have for you. Continue your search for the reserve. And when you unearth it, which I have the utmost confidence you will, destroy it. These four numbers will disable the entire flood contingency system. Mother Nature will rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist, and thank you most sincerely for hearing me out. And let's keep this chat between us, if that's all right. I'm not sure my comrades would see the big picture benefits of removing the reserve from the equation. The floor is now yours, my friend. Anything on your mind that requires clarity? I'm curious about the Reclaimed. Yes? The Reclaimed have made quite a mark on the city. How did the movement get started? After my exile from the Tower for insubordination, I took to raiding their supply lines. Rather efficiently, I might add. No one ever got hurt and other exiles clamored to join my operations. Needless to say, Mama and her cohorts were not pleased with my exploits, and they sent several communications asking me to cease my pillaging or there'd be consequences. <laughs> of course, I refused, politely. No one was gonna dictate the terms of my existence anymore. But it wasn't until the tower started sending thugs out to track me down and end me that I decided it was time to send a message of my own. What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even call Put your weapon away, please. I'm ready to listen. And let's return to civilized discourse. What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even called him a friend. Trip was his name. Snuck up on me in the middle of sleep. Tried to slit my throat. Still carry the scar. We had a long story short. Trip was no match for me. I maimed him. Something awful, really. And I dragged his body about a mile all the way to the southern bump, which at the time was the most highly trafficked exit from the tower. I found an old oak. Hung him upside down from it so his lifeblood would spill rapidly into the soil. And upon his chest I pinned a note that read, Keep him coming. And just like that, I became the most feared boogeyman Nola has seen since the Axe Man. Once I had fear on my side, the rest just blossomed naturally. 
Those with nowhere else to go wanted what I had, so they listened. And they learned. I empowered them. That's all people want. A sense that their lives still have some meaning. I've heard snippets about the reclaimed philosophy, but it would be enlightening to hear it from you. It's simple, really. We want to live purposeful lives, reclaim the world and our humanity along with it. Mere survival is so petty. It's beneath us, forcing people to focus solely on survival. It's cruel, really. I believe we must invest in a future of our own design. Life is not worth living otherwise. I have some other questions for you, JB. I want your perspective on the Reserve. Uh-huh. Why choose me to destroy the Reserve? Because you're the one best equipped Ooh. to find the accursed place, and I trust you will do the right thing when you do. Call it a hunch. If the rumors about what's inside the Reserve are true, wouldn't it benefit the Reclaim to get your hands on it? You are absolutely correct. But once those supplies are gone, then what? The same old fruitless pursuits. And there is the very distinct possibility that the tower gets to it before we do. The only way to guarantee this city will move forward in the proper direction is to remove the reserve from the equation entirely. How did you find this code to flood the reserve? One of my scouts came across the corpse of a National Guardsman in Rampart High School. The body had a manual for a bunker's flood defense system. I put two and two together. I have some other questions for you, JB. I've heard enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The Dow, as promised. Godspeed, tourist. <laughs> After all the hype, you're not exactly what I expected. Thought you'd be more put together, a bit more danger to your presence. Sorry to disappoint, lady. Good thing I'm not too concerned about what you think of me. You should be, fool. Your life may depend on it. I'm Georgia. Maybe you heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside the building you just stepped out of. The time has come to silence him once and for all. Cut off the head that won't shut up. Rest of the reclaimed fools will fall back in line. Then us tower folk can get back to doing what's right, without all the noise. From what I know about JB, it may take more than you and a couple goons to take him down. You a real smartass, tourist. I fucking love smartass. I see you. I'm ready to listen. From what I know about JB, it may take more than you and a couple goons to take him down. You a real smartass, tourist. I fucking love smartasses. Especially when I've snipped the tongues out of their smartass mouths. But I'm willing to give you a pass on your smartass ways. Just this once. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to be a hero. You game? 
That depends. What the fuck do you want me to do? Quit fucking with me, fool. You know what I want. March back up into that house and kill JB. Prove you are worth more to the tower than the cockroach you've been so far. And in return, all your fucked up transgressions will be forgiven. If you happen to find yourself in the midst of our onslaught on the reserve, tower troops will have your back. You have my word. I take no issue with killing JB. Consider it done. No nonsense. I dig it, tourist. I'll let you get to the deed. We'll be waiting. Right. You've returned. To what do I owe the pleasure, tourist? Tower troops are outside. They want you dead. I suggest you get out of here. Well, look at you, tourist. Choosing sides. I suppose that's a good sign regarding our previous conversation. For a rogue spirit, you certainly have proven pivotal in the fight for the soul of this godforsaken and still glorious city. I have no designs on escape. I plan to march right out of this house, gun drawn, and send a message. If you feel like joining me, I suggest you keep up. When it comes to violence, I am decisive and swift. Well, tourist, together we might have been able to handle twice as many tower goons. I had forgotten how much I enjoy the thrill of a brawl. Been a while. Thanks for reminding me. And now I must bid you farewell. I have a new broadcast to prepare hearts and minds to ignite. Perhaps you may even get a special mention. But please, do me one last favor. Keep our earlier discussion in mind when the moment arrives for you to decide the fate.
Jesus Christ.
Thank you, and goodbye. Maybe our paths will cross again. Maybe not. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, I think you should follow us out of this doomed city. Like I said, you will be an asset to the Exodus. But you need to follow whatever story resides in your head. Just know that you are a part of my and Ombra's story. Along with the stories of a couple dozen folks who might have been dead by the end of the week if it wasn't for your efforts. Amber wanted to give you one more drawing. I think she hopes it'll sway your decision. Good luck. And I hope you find what you're searching for. May. Small, fearsome, or timid, the common thread between them all. Hey, Casey. How's it going? Oh, hey, tourist. Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. What's bothering you? It's just... I'm back, Casey. Ready to repair the pump. You still alive? Yeah, alive, but almost swimming. No turning back after this, tourist. We have to get after it. I'm running out of time. You prepared? I'm ready. Okay, serial number first. 749-0003-13. All right, um, set valve A to 38. Valve A, 38. Green. Valve B needs to be set at 44. Valve B, 44. A, B, double green. You're a machine, tourist. Okay, valve C, set it to 60. Valve C to 60. Green all around. Button press, and we are calibrated. Excellent, okay. The last pump is not far from the cemetery. It's in a concrete industrial shed in the old jazz park, near the statue of the musicians. Should be easy to find. The key you got from May unlocks the door to the shed. Now once the part is installed, contact me and I'll get the pump system started. We are so close, tourist. Access to the reserve for you, get the fuck out of the reserve for me. Oh, I can't wait. ammo is this? It's only two mags. Uh, where, where? Leave it behind. Well. Oh. I hate going through here. Ah! <laughs> 
Nope. We'll literally redo this part. 